All right, guys, we just finished this trending post. Now let's work on how we can filter our post here. So if I open this website again, as you can see, we have some tags. So if I click any of them, you can see we have printed the tags inside our search bar. And based on this tag, we are going to find our post. Okay. So as you can see, we have an array of tags inside each post. So we are going to compare these tags with the tags that we are going to send to our header and then print the post if matches. If not matches, for example, if I click this one, you can see we don't have any post with this tag. It means that there is no post that has this programming tag inside. All right, now let's work on that. So before that, I'm going to add some common tags inside my post. So currently I have the three posts in here. So as you can see, we have technology, study and programming. So for instance, I'm going to add another tag here. So it should be string and let's say study. Okay, so I can update here. You can see we have a study in here. And also, I'm going to update this post to be technology. Okay. Okay, and let's change this one. Let's have a tag. Uh, let's say sport in here. So, I can rename this with sport. Okay. Alright, now let's update it. Okay. So first of all, we need to set an onclick function. So it will redirect us to a new page. So in here, inside this demo folder, I'm going to have a new file and call that filter post .jsx. Okay. And we need to have a new route inside app.js. So I'm going to open this here and let's copy and paste it here. Now we need to change this to be filter and this one is going to be dynamic tag. Okay, now let's change this component to be filter post component. All right. Now we need to open this discover component here and up here we need to have our navigate. So navigate is equal to use navigate. Okay, and we need to set an on click here. And this navigate will direct us to slash filter and our tag name. So the tag name is going to be this item. Okay. So now let's check it. If I try to click this technology, you can see we are going to have this tag, but we don't want this to be uppercase. So I just say to lower case in here okay and if i go back okay and if i click it again now you can see our route is lower case this is because i have added a lower case tax inside this tax array okay so now let's style this like this one we need to have our header so now I'm going to open this filter post and in here we need to get our tag. So I'm going to write here tag and it's coming from use params. So down here we need to get our post data. So const post data and it's coming from our block context API. And also we can get this post loading. So down here, let's filter our post data. I'm going to write here filter data and we're going to filter this post data dot filter. We're going to find each and every post and check if post dot tags dot includes this tag. Okay. So now down here i'm going to change this div to be section it will have a class name size and we need to add a margin y of to them so at first we need to add our header so 
we should have a div here and inside here let's have a heading tree but for this header we need to set a condition if we have any filtered data we want to display a text otherwise we are going to display another text so i just copy and paste this condition here you can see if we have any data inside this filtered data we are going to display your filtered post otherwise there is no post with this tag so now as you can see your filtered post because we have a post with this tag but if i try to open this tag here you can see there is no post with this tag all right so let's open this technology here and this heading tree will have a class name of text 3 excel padding bottom is going to be 6 we need to have a border bottom and border color should be black okay we need to have a margin bottom of 3 rim all right now you can see we have a bigger text here now down here we are going to display our post data so at first we are going to say if we have any post loading we want to display this loading component otherwise we are going to map through this data so we need to have a div here and inside here we just map through this data so if we have filtered data then we are going to just map through this we are going to get each and every post and the index and we just return the post card here okay now let's turn our post here so post should be post and also we need to have a key of index all right now you can see we have only one post which is matching with this tag now let's add a class name for this div here okay so for large screen above maximum width should be 60 percent okay and it should be flex flex column and gap is going to be turin all right now you can see here is the post and i can open this post separately so if I try to open this tag here, you can see we have another post with this tag study. Okay, and let's open this one. We don't have any post with this tag. And if I open this post, you can see we have this post. All right, this is how we can filter a post inside React.js. So now let's push this code to our github i'm going to say filter post is implemented let's all right okay guys we are done with this project i hope this project was helpful for you so if you want to watch more videos like this please like the video leave a comment and give a subscribe to my channel see you in the next project